At five, our Verify team looked at air conditioning refrigerant and whether one of the most common kinds is phasing out. It's true, but should you freak out over it? Hank Hevenero talked to a local AC expert to find out what you need to know. When recharging an AC unit, people like Gary Cremans know it's important to get the right amount of refrigerant in the system. The outside number is going to tell you the pressure that the unit's actually running at. But with one of the most common refrigerants being phased out, some people might be concerned. And starting in 2020, their AC won't turn on. They do not have to be taken out of service. They can still be used and there will still be refrigerant available to continue servicing those units over even past 2020. Mark Gatewood with ABC Home and Commercial Services understands exactly what this all means. So this is 22, 410A, 407C. He says that there are multiple types of refrigerant and only production of this one, R22, is being shut but, down. You know, that's, the green jug's all beat up, it's the 22, because we don't use much of it. And the pink is all new and we buy it by the pallets because we use a whole bunch of it. Even if you have an older AC, R22 machines haven't been made since 2010. It's this one right here. A quick check will let you know, but you should be fine either way. Nobody's going to show up at your house and say, well, now it's the old refrigerant and you have to get a new unit. That's not going to happen. So if you're thinking you'll need a recharge soon, it will still be years before R22 is actually gone. So the actual supply of R22 will be around long after the equipment is gone. Hank Kevinero, KVU News. So this phase out of R22 actually started in the 80s because there were signs it was bad for the environment. This is just the culmination of that decision.